uh, we had um, one realtor come in that was a bit more, uh, she was elderly, but uh, she was very nice, but I don't think she understood our needs properly. And just kind of went, you could tell it was a routine for her, same pitch that she goes through probably each person that she runs into. And my wife and I didn't really have a comfort zone. It was more or less, we were just a, a number, so to speak. The other uh, realtor that we had was actually quite pushy, uh, a bit too aggressive, and um, it didn't give us the comfort, us being you know, first time uh, homeowners and our first sale. Um, that wasn't really a good fit. But um, with MinMax, it was actually very, it, we were at ease. They went through a process of how they like to do business, how they like to position ourselves to sell our house, asking us what we like to get out of our house and um, it was really quite smooth. So um, me being the, the family man I am, uh, with my wife, you know, I wanna make sure she was on board, but like I said, as soon as uh, the realtor had left with MinMax, you know, we just basically looked at each other and said, no, this is the one we wanna go with. Call him, uh, I gotta say, uh, thumbs up to that guy. He's been uh, really great to deal with, easy to talk to, um, really is at our level when we're talking to him, not talking overhead, answering our questions, giving us updates on what's happening with visitors, looking to put in bids. And um, I gotta say, just as important it is for some of the front lines to deal with a real estate agent, really important support uh, from MinMax. It really came full circle and uh, was really, really a pleasure dealing with Colm, so. It was good for us to get away on a vacation, but in the back of my mind, we're always thinking about what's happening with the house, seeing the email updates from MinMax, another person coming to see your house, another person coming to see your house. And, you know, it builds up like, wow, there's like 30 people looking at this house in the past week, like something's gotta give. So, you know, it, again, by email and phone call, um, be able to sort of uh, fill those little gaps of worry or, or uh, you know, uh, wondering what might happen with the house. But it was, it was really, really smooth sailing and great communication and uh, they didn't leave us hanging. So it was great.